season of complex factions is finally here and uh i'm actually a couple days late so if we check it out on our scoreboard grace we have four days and 18 hours left until tnt enables so we are just over two days into the season and uh i just logged on okay and also once again i am currently leading a faction for the season so if you guys do want to go ahead and apply to join the faction join the discord down below but let's go ahead and catch you guys up on everything that the faction has done while i was mia so essentially the main point of focus we did end up actually going ahead and getting a corner and the faction we're playing super casual this season we have just got a couple spawners up we've got an xp grinder there are plenty of zombies skeletons stuff like that and then iron golems we have 88 evokers 256 creepers and then roughly 260 iron golems as well i believe we have like 55 million dollars in total value and then other than that all that the faction has actually done is started working on the cactus farms which i'll go ahead and stop reloading and help out here with that very soon but then other than that all we've got is our chunk loader we've got our collection chest all the way down here we've got our extended rev layer set up and also we do have our base i may go ahead and touch on that a little bit here soon but we've got our schematic and everything ready to go but now to actually go ahead and kick start this brand new season i want to go ahead and open up the brand new crate keys that actually just dropped on complex like a day or two ago and that is the inferno crate now i don't even really know what is too good because i just logged on like i said let's see the axe does some damage wait the boots allow you to walk over lava the helmets inflict blindness and nausea i know there's a bunch of really good items one i know for a fact is the backpack while in the light zone slash dark zone you deal five percent more damage for every near mob so essentially speaking if you have 20 mobs near you in your pvping you do a hundred percent extra damage like that is insane but now we have got five crate keys to go ahead and open up off the bat it will be good as well because we can get iron golems we can get evokers we can get creepers all that stuff for the faction it looks like we're actually getting 12 igs and it acts right off the bat okay sharpness six i will definitely take it please be decent tier oh my god no shot bro tier four let's see all attack damage is dealt over 10 seconds how does that even work i don't know but it's second for max tier four and tier five is the max i will definitely take that okay second one here we go and it looks like we're getting the pickaxe okay eight evokers to go with it actually what i wouldn't mind as well let's see that's tier two can we actually pull an infinite cell one that would be super useful for the faction no we can only pull 5,000 use one okay i believe there might be in solars can you pull infinite wands yeah okay we need solar crakeys can you do it from lunar i don't know no okay so we just need solar crakeys now three more to go ahead and open up and we got a hoe in 16 more evokers some money pouch i'll definitely take that as well and a tier two hoe okay well i'm hoping i can actually go ahead and get the entire set over the season because the cosmetics are literally so sick but it's looking like we're getting the chest plate and a ton more spawners as well and what tier tier two okay and the final crakey for this opening clip and for the brand new season what are we getting another chest plate oh my goodness please be higher than tier two and we got tier one all right that's just bad luck let's actually go ahead and throw all of this in our pv1 and i want to go ahead and actually place the spawners right off the bat start making some money and then i should probably go ahead and also start working on a god set as well since i am like two days late see fill out that stack of iron golems go ahead and add another one and fill out that stack of evokers and we'll start another evoker stack as well okay there we go but okay if you guys do enjoy the content make sure to drop that like button down below and subscribe if we haven't already i'm gonna go ahead and get to work off camera my join quality faction see what everybody's up to but i'll bring you guys right back in a second okay we're skipping a couple of days into the future and literally all that we have been doing is cactus this first box here it's like a 90 y levels i believe is nearly finished a three by three area we're starting to make a decent amount of money because we check it out f upgrades we have got growth speed completely max we're working at a 1.3 times and also in our collection chest area we've got our chunk loader here in the middle and it is also completely maxed out with an extra 20 percent crop growth boost and i think one of our members is actually running an alt here in the middle i don't know if it has no it doesn't look like it has greenhouse on it so we're missing out on a little bit of money oh we actually have two alts here and this one should have greenhouse on it okay but then outside of that as you guys can see we have just over two days of grace period left so it is time to probably go ahead and start working on our base i believe we're working on like extending the rev layers right now because if you guys watched the last two episodes we went ahead and wormed the faction and the way to prevent that is actually go ahead and extend your rev layers so that's what we're working on right now and then i believe we should have a bunch more rev layers right here and then we'll have more rev layers here and more rev layers here as well and of course all the way up here in our top box is our value so what i think i'm gonna do is actually go ahead and turn the placement on i'm gonna show you guys the schematic this is the base that we're working with so if we go ahead and check it out it's literally one chunk of straight walls it is in five chunks of filters one chunk ocean another chunk of filters and then straight walls a checkbox and sand walls all the way at the end of the buffer and genuinely if we have like three or four people working on it it probably will take like two hours or so to get 
get this entire base up. It's not half bad. And then we also did go ahead and switch up the design alongside the border because mine chats are just like out of style, man. With 0.7 cannons, you can triple tap mine chats and it's completely useless alongside the border. So we got filters and anti one by ones. So hopefully that prevents us from getting lefty or righty. But what I'm going to go ahead and do for the time being is actually help out Munch because right now he's working in the rev layers. We'll go ahead and finish our extended ones and then maybe gen the border defenses and go ahead and set up the trays. I don't know. We'll go ahead and get to work. We'll make some progress. I'll bring you guys right back in a second. So we're working on the rev layers here and I want to go to explain something really quickly. So like I mentioned, we do have these extended rev layers. I'm not exactly sure how many, like 30 or so alternating lava water. That goes all the way down to bedrock. And now what we're also going to go ahead and do is extend these box rev layers, like in between boxes by one block. Because theoretically speaking, if we get breached, they will go ahead and nuke all down this entire obsidian wall because this will just be watered. And then when they go ahead and stack the very next time to breach our main value box, or if they breach like the cactus, or something like that it should go ahead and stack right here and then nuke to here it will not be able to stack sand all the way down into our cactus boxes it's gonna have to stack multiple times on the exact same block and i highly doubt that does happen so that is why i have extended the rev layers one each way so if they do go ahead and breach one box they cannot breach the others in the exact same nuke without having to readjust but now we've probably got like 30 or so left so i'll go ahead and finish these bad boys up and then we'll get started on the actual regens of the base slowly but surely we are making a progress on the base so all of our border regions are actually gent in this is exactly what it'll look like for the entire season and then now we're actually starting on the trays of the filters and then of course we'll have the ocean to do as well and then the rest of the regular walls and genning which honestly that shouldn't be too bad at all i'm expecting just a couple more hours of base work and the base should be completely finished and then we do also have a box right here for our 360 buffer counters and i believe we're gonna try to use u fusions this season as well so we'll probably go down at bedrock like somewhere around around here but we'll figure that out when the genning is completely finished once again back with a quick little update on the base all of the trays are completely finished now we're watering the insides and then we will go ahead and actually start genning in the lava itself it's super easy though if i do go ahead and turn the schematic on we've got the middle slime block that we use to build the tray still there we'll go ahead and we'll grab our infinite bucket and then we'll go along the entire front and then we'll go ahead and click off the back and then we'll break the slime and then click off the obsidian middle pillar and lava will flow every direction and it'll gen exactly where it needs to be now with these filters specifically you don't actually want the backs on them i've seen a lot of bases on complex have the back side of this filter and pretty much what it makes it possible to do is they just shoot and sand stack inside this water and get rid of the water and it pretty much is like osrbs the filter so make sure you do not have this back right here that is why there is no red wool which the red wool actually indicates like a lava source bucket where you're supposed to place it and that is why there is no red wool anywhere that will gen this back pillar if that makes sense i have practically ran out of money genning this base we check my balance like 450,000, which actually gives me the chance to go ahead and sell the collection chest for the first time the entire season if i go ahead and hop into rome our entire first cactus box is finished and now we are starting to build the second one as well and then our third box up here is gonna be the, the nether wart and snow golem farm my entire site of regens is practically finished i've got one more chunk to go ahead and do and then i believe cj and tricks might have just finished doing the wrap as well okay it actually looks like they're genned in so we just have to water those i believe munch was working over here bro what in the world slacker munch but yeah a solid portion of the regions are finished so actually go ahead and drink this booster and grab out our infinite cell wand i don't really know how much money you've got in here like 4 million 2.8 right here looks like this is probably where our farms are 42 million in there 2.2 okay a decent amount of money i'm assuming probably close to like 100 million maybe a little bit less and reset vault is actually open i can go ahead and grab out my spooky hoe but i don't have any enchants or anything for it so i actually want to go ahead and do that here after we finish up the base let's drink the 125 percent booster and start selling there we go there we go 54 million for 5.9 3.6 5.6 and another 3.2 okay 91 million not half bad now is there any f upgrades that we essentially need like right now because spawn rate is maxed the growth speed is maxed and the xp rate is maxed as well those are like the massive ones i think probably the rest of this money will be put towards finishing the base and whatever we have left we'll go ahead and buy spawners with and maybe 
you should actually go ahead and buy some creepers because they are cheaper this season. And we actually have 140 million dollars value actually placed. That's actually not half bad. 530 IGs, 250 evokers, and we do have almost a thousand creepers. Okay, just from that cell, I believe we're on bow top two. Okay, we're the 11th richest player on the entire server just from that cell, which that was kind of a crappy cell. I'm not gonna lie. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually do a live stream, finish up the base on the live stream, probably go ahead and pull out my spooky hoe and start working on some enchants for a god set as well because I'm literally just rocking a normal tier four kit. Well, I'm pretty sure the rest of the faction has been PvPing in like full god set. I'm kind of slacking. The entire base is now finished. Well, like 99%. All that we have left is actually go ahead and do our one chunk ocean and then also set up like our checkbox. But that is like so easy to do. It shouldn't take much time at all. But now, like I mentioned earlier, the reset vault is indeed open. I want to go ahead and take out my spooky hoe as well as my celestial hoe and start to get some enchants for those to be useful. Let's see. Here we go. Where are they even at? Okay, here we go. Stellar strike 10 is super rare as well as our spooky tier 7 hoe. Now we just need the enchants. If I check it out, we need telekinesis. That's for sure. And then we need herbless holy cultivation, greenhouse for the helmet, greedy greens, and then green thumb 10, I believe is the last one. Also gardener as well. Yeah, okay. Those are like the seven or so enchants for both of them and also like i mentioned i'm still running around tier four kit so i'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of xp grinding off camera stash up on some enchants as well as some xp and hopefully both of those will be ready to go here in a second i have spent a decent amount of time actually getting enchants for this god set now like i mentioned we are just putting it on a tier four kit but i'm gonna be able to get plenty of pvp so far let's actually go ahead and max out the helmet there we go we have got literally every single enchant that we need besides extra padding five we've got extra padding four now here we go with the chest plates and there we go the leggings are finished and last but not least the boots are now done as well so there we go we are now ready for some pvp and to actually go ahead and top it all off i have got all of the enchants that i actually need for my spooky host so we can go ahead and start getting candy corn and capitalizing on the massive boost that we get for selling our collection chest so telekinesis greedy greens herbalist gardener as well as green thumb that's perfect now i'm pretty sure we do actually have a wart farm somewhere I did not set this up. One of my faction members did. Okay, here we go. So let's go ahead and grab a little bit of candy corn right off the bat. And I believe it has been a little while since we last sold. So let me actually go ahead and get like maybe like half a stack or so just so we get a decent boost. And then we will sell the collection chest once again. Okay, we got 44 to go ahead and use. We farmed it up in like three minutes, literally. I don't think I've mentioned this entire episode. My entire goal for this series of factions, like this entire season, is to farm GC. We already told people like we're not going for Eptop. All we're doing is placing down spawners to get XP for TNT, and we are going to be farming GC this season. So just as a benchmark, I'm starting the season off at 80 GC. Can't forget the two cents. But something I want to go ahead and notice is actually check out the GC market. Like, people are selling keys. People are selling enchants. People are actually selling switcher balls. A stack of switcher balls for three GC is crazy. A stack of candy corn for one GC. 44 literally took me like three minutes to get. So that might be the move to go ahead and sell candy corn as well. Looks like XP is also on there for GC. I don't know. This will be interesting. If you guys have any strategy, strategies at farming GC, let me know either in my Discord DMs or in the comments down below. So I want to try a bunch of them out in the next episode. Let's go ahead and grab out our one. Let's go ahead and get a decent booster, 144, something better than that. Let's get like a 190, somewhere around there. 180, I guess that's good enough. Let's go ahead and actually do a quick sell. 54 million from the big boy chest. Another five, another five, six, and another six nearly. Okay, so about 100 million once again from that sell. I think we actually just sold not too long ago as well. Now, if I check the F bank, I'm pretty sure we do have a little bit of money in there as well now here's the deal if i do slash f top we're just straight up buying slimes creepers and skeletons and zombies so i'll go ahead and ask the faction what we want to go ahead and buy off camera because all this is going to be mined before TNT enables. You guys can see from my score, but we are roughly now six hours until TNT enables. And uh, we still don't have a buffer counter. Not good looks, I can't lie. And if I go ahead and hop into Rome, I'm pretty sure the ocean is not finished either. Yeah, it's we've got a long ways to finish the ocean. That is fine, because like I mentioned, we are mining literally all of our value. We have like 180 million placed right now. We're going to go ahead and mine all of it before TNT does enable. And uh, I can't lie, we're probably not defending this base because I just don't care enough. I doubt we even get attempted if we don't have any spawners up but nonetheless i will go ahead and make the buffer counter just in case and then maybe overnight or something i'll go ahead and work on the u fusions as well but yeah i just want to go ahead and update you guys tnt is enabling here very soon but i think we are gonna go ahead and end this episode here if you guys did enjoy it make sure to drop that like button down below and subscribe if you have not already and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out